Hi, this is 3D Makeup Pro Eagle LiDAR Scanner and when I use it outdoor, uh, the screen is very difficult to see. So in this project, I'm going to make a 3D print, a sunshade for the screen. The plan is that I will mount it into this antenna a thread because I don't have a GPS unit and I will lock it with this cap. I will make a sunshade um, about this long and then I will extend it long enough that it will create 45 degree angles uh, for blocking the sun jet. And I will make a 3D scan by using this um, 3 Mega Pro uh, Moose 3D scanner. I want to scan only the top part. You can start the scan uh, by clicking on easy scan, right? And then I will choose uh, geometry mode without a color. So I will scan only this part around the screen. Let me remove this cap. I will scan this cap separately. Uh, let me adjust the brightness. Okay, I think it's number five would be uh, good enough. So I will um, slowly move it. Now it's tracking well. No issue. Okay, I think it's done. I'm going to add some uh, black cube here for a decoy because it's round and symmetry. Uh, because the uh, object is in a black color, so I increase the brightness to the max. If I reduce the brightness, it's going to see less. So, max brightness it is. Let's try if it can scan this. Okay, look like that it can track with a decoy. But I'm not sure if it, uh, it can scan the site. Okay. Okay, let's uh, process this point count first. The cap, click here, click on process, advance 0 0.2, apply. Okay, like we have all the cap body of the uh, LiDAR scanner, the Eagle. I'm going to uh, process this one, advance 0.2. Okay, it's the result of the 3D scan. Uh, it's look clean. I think it's good enough for a uh, reversing cat. I will convert uh, the mesh into the point cloud so that I can use it in Autodex Inventor. Because the mesh result from Moose 3D Scanner is much cleaner than the point cloud, so I will use the mesh in the Autodex Inventor or a free cat. It's better to use the point cloud, so I will reconvert the mesh back into the point cloud. Here's what I do I click on the mesh, click on Edit Mesh Sample Point. I'm going to use 1 million, so this is 1 million, so it will convert the mesh into the point cloud. This is 1 million point clouds. Edit color, set unique. I change it to green color. And if you look from the side, you see that it's already level, but uh, from the top it's not. So I'm going to um, rotate it along the C-axis using my mouse and zoom in. I use the screen, the bottom of my screen for reference. These two sides of the wall is perpendicular. Click on the check mark. Uh, click on tools, registration, move bounding box center to origin. Now center of the scanner is in the origin point. Okay, it's done. Going to bring in the cap. 
that we uh, scan separately it is match sample point but this time I will only use a hundred thousand point because it's small piece and then I'm going to change the color to something uh, unique like a yellow one or tools a registration move bounding block to the center now the cap is in the center and then I'm going to move it uh, along the z-axis so now I move it along the z-axis the y-axis you can see a faint circle in here but it's very faint we can rearrange this again with the um, Autodesk Inventor then I will export this click on files click on save and then export as LS files and then I bring into uh, Autodesk Recap for converting to the RCP files and then it can be imported into Autodesk Inventor Okay, I'm in Autodesk Inventor because uh, FreeCAD cannot do a simple loft command that required to create this three forms of the visor. Uh, first step, I'm going to uh, attach the point cloud that I prepare in the cloud compare. Click on here, uh, inside origin, scale it to 0 0.001. Click on OK because Recap will recognize point cloud unit in meter. Okay, it's a flaunt. So with the lead cap, I can uh, turn on and turn off the cap because I separate the cap into layers. Right? I will start uh, by creating a plane. If you look here in the light view, I will create a plane here, this joint. I think this start to be the part of the LCD screen. So I start the visor from this point. So I'm going to click on the point cloud here, create a point. And next, I'm going to create a plane on this point. I do that by click on Assemble, Plane, XC Plane, and click on the point here that I just created. So we have a new plane here that we can use for creating a sketch. I click on here, Create Component, Wiser. Click on here. So we have our first sketch here. And to be able to trace correctly, I'm going to crop the point cloud. So I'm going to crop it. Manage box crop. I click on check mark. Okay, there's a thin point cloud. Okay, let me check the axis of the point cloud and I will uh, project the z axis. This is global z axis. It's 0 0.264. So I need to move the point cloud to the left 0 0.265 along x axis. Minus 0 0.265. Okay, now the point cloud is moved, so it should be in the center. When I miller, I will start the uh, tracing. I draw a three line arc. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tangent it. Tangent it. And trim it. Trim it and trim it. Next, I'm going to Miller using this as a Miller line. I'm going to give it some clear lines to uh, 0 0.2 and I'm going to offset one more time for the thickness of 2 mm. So we have 0 0.2 clear lines and 2 mm for the thickness. Okay, next, I'm going to uncrop the point cloud. I'm going to create a new uh, sketch in this section just before the camera. I'm going to move this plane to about 8 millimeters. So it will be just before camera lens. And I'm going to uh, go back to the wiser part, create a new sketch. I'm going to crop a thin section. Let's make it um, the thinner is the better. Just above the plane. 
Okay, so I'm going to uh, go into this sketch and project uh, the line from the first sketch. Uh, let me uh, project the z-axis for Miller. Okay, next I'm going to trace it using the projection line as a reference. Uh, this one will be easier. Twelve is too small. Let's try twenty. Okay, twenty seems to be right. Let's try um, eight. Let's try seven. Yeah, seven is matched perfectly. Okay, next I'm going to uh, mirror this to the other side. Uh, mirror lined, apply, offset this. 0 0.2, I'm gonna offset one more time. 2 millimeters for the thickness. Gonna close the profiles. We have to sketch here. Okay, next I'm going to uh, loft the profiles. Uh, do this by clicking on the loft command. Uh, first sketch. Right, this already detect the profiles. And second sketch. Okay, click on OK, all the point clouds. You, you can check that if there is any interference. Okay, next I'm going to turn on the cap. And then I'm going to create a, a fixing point for the cap. I do this by uh, creating a sketch here. Let's uh, project the uh, Y axis, a formula, a circle. Will be aligned to this axis so the cap is not in the center it doesn't matter going to project the line here going to create a line tangent line tangent uh, 16th extrude it uh, two millimeter the same thickness here okay let me adjust the meter here a bit to 50 to 50 uh, it's gonna clash with a, a camera bump going to create arc here 8 and 8 um, this leg here uh, let me create a hole uh, in this position um, the diameter of the hole 7.5 will be okay okay um, next I'm going to uh, I'll create a stiffener so it would be uh, stiffer going to create a sketch here a project a geometry I'm going to offset this to um, two millimeters and I'm going to extrude this to uh, three millimeters so this will create a stiffener okay let me make a new sketch here um, project from the center of the hold uh, the cap size 37 millimeters I'm going to uh, create a cut to one millimeter so it's um, thinner on the lid part okay let me uh, create a new sketch project geometry so I project everything I'm going to extrude this because the width of the screen is about 70 millimeters so 35 38 would be will create a 45 degree sunshade next I'm going to uh, create a chamfer in this two corner for um, 35 this three is too much let's try two okay now it's not sharp anymore okay let's do some more chamfer here for three millimeters here three millimeters for not too sharp so you should be able to block the line with this one okay i face this um down to the print bed so I'm going to print in this direction. I uh, look like the support is not required. Okay, so we have another spaghetti. Uh, let me try to increase the uh, print bed adhesion again. Click on um, Sketch Project Geometry. I will offset this to about a 3 mm. Okay, I will um, extrude it to 1 mm. Should be enough for 
very minimal. So this should be uh, increasing the um, uh, bed adhesion. Let's align uh, this face to the bed. Now we have more contact area. So this is will be a third attempt for printing. Okay, let's take a look at the printing quality. Uh, this part is only uh, one millimeter thick and I have a stiffener. Okay, it looks like it's stiff. There's some uh, flex here because it's thin, only two millimeters. So uh, this is the part. Okay, look at the profiles here. It's the part where it's going to fit into the body of the 3D scanner. Okay, let's do the fitting test. And the cutout that I made here is also fit. Uh, this side is not touching with the camera. Uh, this side also. See this uh, this gap here? I think it's from a, a defection when printing. But clear. Let's try with the external lighting. It's raining outside, so I can't test with the sunlight. So just walk the light from the side. Okay, so I put a uh, link in the description. Uh, thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.